Thanks so much, Tyler. And we are continuing to talk about systems as well, especially when it comes to that rainfall, because a huge focus here in Ontario has been the lake levels. And those lake levels are riding so much higher than normal this time of year, but it is reminiscent of past uh, flooding for sure. My eyes have been on the island as well as the coast. And as you are just driving by any shores too, I was in Prince Edward County just, just yesterday and just seeing the amount of water that had come up, it is shocking. So my heart goes out to you if you are dealing with some flooding. We also do have some gusty conditions moving on in. So through Friday morning, around that 30, 20 kilometer per hour range, it's going to pick up up just a touch okay so it is going to get a little bit more gusty and then as we move through the weekend it will ease eastern parts of Ontario dealing with most of those gusts for sure and a note when the lakes are that high and we do have those gusty conditions you do get more erosion so talking about that too as Tyler mentioned Toronto in the clear hey we get a weekend where we actually get some sunshine pretty good stuff the cloud cover still in place might have some uh, some of that variable skies it is clearing on out high pressure descends kind of keeps that low at bay but we are going to see an extreme southwest throughout some of the weekend you could get into some showers just depends on how much that front pushes on through but the likelihood is mostly we are talking about the clear conditions around the golden horseshoe Lake breeze convergence might also come into our temperature. So it might start feeling a little bit cooler around those lakes, of course, because the lakes are quite cool this time of year. 22 for Toronto this afternoon. Our normal this time of year, 24, 25 degrees. So we are right about there, okay? We'll give it to it on the first day of summer, might as well. 18 degrees on Friday evening, nice and clear. Whatever you're up to in the evening hours, you've got some great conditions for that. Maybe roasting some s'mores, that could be fun stuff. 13 degrees here at the overnight hours and quite clear as well. By the time we reach Saturday morning, we've got 15 degrees, perfect to wake up with that cup of coffee and just enjoy the weekend you so deserve. Around the uh, the Golden Horseshoe again for Saturday, we are easing up, we are getting into that ridge, starting to see those temperatures come up just a touch. So that's also good news when it comes to talking about seasonal in our forecast. Stay with us, your locals now. On the lake shore, and we even saw parts of the 400 needing to be closed. It was just heavy downpours of rain. Did you get caught in it? It was a windshield wipers going full blast kind of story and a quick look at the archive radar. So this isn't what's going on right now, but this is what was. You can see that band of consistent rain uh, taking place right over top of our hometown, Toronto. We are talking about some storms across the country, but we're zoning in on our GTA forecast and a couple of topics to cover too is the next one on the way. That's going to be more into Sunday evening into Monday. A lovely weekend at that. Uh, that is upon us right now. We've got clear skies clearing out a little bit of cloud cover Friday afternoon, 22 degrees. And this is a great weekend to get out. If you are a fan of rib fests, and you're a fan of Chris May, well, you are just going to be in heaven because we're going to be doing some on locations with Chris May throughout the weekend, through uh, Saturday, actually. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I can only imagine the trouble that he's going to get into down there. Now, not only is this weekend the Oakville Rib Fest, but it is also the summer solstice. We are finally in the season of summer. We can start talking about it as if it is actually here, and we are talking about, as well, those hours of daylight, the longest day to see some daylight light in through the day today. So that's going to be really good stuff too. 24 degrees for Saturday. We have got some beautiful skies. What are you up to this weekend? Come on, you got to make some plants because this is one of the first weekends we've had where there has been full on sunshine and we are so ready to enjoy it, right? I know mom's going to be out in the garden. They're going to be doing something like that. Make sure you wear your sunscreen, okay? This is where you can find me. Use that hashtag share your weather. We're quite nosy here at the Weather Network. We want to see what you're up to. And a quick look into when the next one is coming. And again, that's Monday. So you don't want to be looking back on Monday saying, hey, I wish we took advantage. Now, Ride Don't Hide is also coming up. This is an opportunity to gather and talk about mental health and do some exercise too. Watch this. Hey, good morning. We are right at the end of our week. We're heading into the weekend. That is one of my 
favorite times to chat with you because we're going to get your plans ready. And I'm so lucky to fill in for Emily Bukovic because our forecast, I think you're going to like me after this one. It looks quite clear and seasonal as well. Our seasonal for Toronto around the 24, 25 degree mark this time of year. I will say we are maybe slightly cooler than that for sure today. We're going to start the day 10 a.m., 18 degrees. By the time we build through the day for Toronto, 21, not too bad. But as you know, a lot of Canadians getting into sunburns this time of year, right? You walk outside, it's just starting to warm up, you're not exactly prepared for it, make sure you wear your sunscreen for sure in through this weekend. If you're heading up to the cottage or anywhere towards the lakes, the lakes are still quite chilly. We haven't gotten that really big warm up, so that's kind of been an issue with that. And uh, Toronto, 22 degrees again this afternoon. Windsor, you've got that 24 degree mark, Sudbury at 21 throughout this afternoon and continuing to move throughout the evening, 18 degrees for Toronto. We're going to cool down just a touch, but the skies are going to be nice and clear. So if you are into stargazing or anything like that, this could be actually a quite nice night to do that. Moving through the uh, upper ridge, that ridge that we've got in place right now continues to slide. So we are actually seeing a bit of that trough move towards Atlantic Canada and as well today. Today is the summer solstice. We can actually start talking about summer as if it's actually here, not just meteorological summer which was the beginning of the month. So of course we are looking at that axis of right. We are talking about summer. All right, well, we are going to continue to talk about that for sure here on the Weather Network, but then also on social media. Also today, not just the summer solstice, but it's actual National Indigenous Peoples Day. So we wanted to dive into the topic, get talking about it, and there are a couple of really cool things coming from this culture. The Office Expert. Thanks for joining us on The Morning Brief. I'm Nicole Karkic along with Chris St. Clair, Amanda Weldon for today. And because it's Friday, we do this every Friday, we pick <laughs> videos of the week that we found interesting or exciting. And Chris, you're going to go first. Oh, good. Um, it's been a very <laughs> stormy week in mm -hmm. Alberta, so I want to show you a couple of them. Fine, from a cloud as well. And I'm next. And I'm going to stay <laughs> in the Wild West where we had wild weather this week. <laughs> And Amanda, you All next. right, yeah, I am next. I'm not going to stay in the wild west, but I'm going to stay with the wild life. So let's go outside. These guys are quite busy. <laughs> New Market, Ontario. Move it or lose it. They're uh, they're feeling a little bit nervous. Okay. And if you're ever at a food truck and you see beaver tails, they're, they're not really beaver tails either. But you should order one. They're, they're delicious. They're 100%. Delicious. They're so good. There's nothing wrong with deep fried dough. No. <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> all right, today is summer solstice, longest day of the year, start of summer. It's like, it's so, I love this time of year mm -hmm. because the sun, the sky is starting to light up at, you know, um, a lot earlier. Like 4.30 in the morning. Yeah, I love it's that. great. I love it in the summer too. You get the sun rises and the extra hours, I, I'm not going to lie, is a little tough with the schedule. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's so bright out and I'm trying to go to sleep, but uh, I will take it in honor of summer.